right? Shalawam, we give all praises, on and glory to Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, by Hashem Rakakodash, and we give double honors to the apostles of great mercy, not true. Well, salutations to the men of the whole plan, Saint Selek. This is Makaza from the Trinidad camp. Just want to do a little edification for the elect's sake. All right, and I want to just you know look up the word context and go into that word. When I look up the word context, it actually goes to a composition, a chronicle, the entire text of a writing. All right, going back to Latin, contextus, a joining together. Originally, past participle of context here, to weave together. All right, and basically the etymology of the word context means to weave together. All right, from con means with together. All right, and text here means to weave. All right, and what we weave in together, we weave in this word together. You know, when you're going, like when you look up, like all these Christians, they're always saying when you're reading the scriptures, you're reading it out of context. All right, that is not what it means. But when it, they, they use the word mean that, hey, you can't apply this to that. But how do you apply one thing to another? The scripture said the word was written here, little, dear, little. All right, and basically, if the word was written here a little and there a little. Guess what? It takes a, a master weaver to the spirit of the Lord Yahweh Hashem Shai to, to bring them together to, to make sense out of the scriptures. And that was the most I had in a book within a book. All right? And only the elect had the ability, beginning with the apostles all the way down, have the ability to weave the word together so that it can make sense. All right. The elect, beginning with the apostles, have the ability to take tread and make garments, which the garment is the is the is the doctrine. All right, and the tread is the holy tread is this is the scriptures. So to the onlooker, the tread will look like, you know, it's just tread. But guess what? The tread a tread will have different colors, and then. By taking these colors and putting them in the in the right perspective, guess what? You have like like Joseph, um, his his coat of different colors, and it, it 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 looks something what somewhat beautiful. And that is what the men of the Lord do. They take the scriptures and me and bring it to life, beautify it, make sense out of it, take what is here little and dear little, and make a whole garment out of it. All right, going back to Ephesians six, they make you know, the whole the whole armor of the Lord. All right, weaving the word together, and not anybody could do this. The word context doesn't mean you're taking this word out of out of, um, you know, it it from, let's say like, like with John three sixteen, if you apply that to when we go into the word um cosmos, we say guess what? I'm talking about the stars of heaven, and then when you go into Exodus. To show who the stars of heaven talking about, they talking about Israel. They say now nah, you're going out of context. Now nah, that is actually context because we weave in the word to get the words together spiritually in their right perspective. All right. So this is First Corinthians chapter one verse twenty six. It says, "For ye see your calling, brethren, that not that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called." All right, because you, you would have scholars, so-called scholars and historians going through the scriptures and basically they're making a, a mess out of the scriptures. Like, you know, one guy saying that, you know, when the Mosai made Adam, you know, Adam wanted a wife and the Lord started sending animals for Adam to choose a wife. But at the same time, Adam was naming the animals. So he sent a giraffe. He said, all right, there's a giraffe, but now the water says a wife. Um... A dove, no other one. This has a wife. Like, what, what the hell? What the hell do you get that from? All right, that not in the scriptures. That is adding to the scriptures. That is adding buffoon to the scriptures. All right. But to take the, but to have the ability to take the words of the Most High and form them into a doctrine. That is only through the Spirit, because the scriptures said, "Without me, you can't do nothing." Without the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, we couldn't take these words and make sense out of it. As Isaiah 29 said, the word is delivered unto one that is learned. And he said, I cannot read it. And these learned men show you clearly that they, they don't understand the scriptures. 
guess what prophecies they they, they they won't understand things happening right in front of their eyes they can't apply to the scriptures all right but the the, the spirit of the most high the lord had revealed it unto us through his spirit that is why we understand and why we could break it down through the spirit of the lord all right verse 27 it says but yahweh by shimmy shai had chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise and Yahweh had chosen the weak things of the world to confound things that are which are mighty and base things of the world and things which are despised had Yahweh chosen yea and things which are not to bring to naught things that are that no flesh shall glory in his presence and that is basically so that no flesh could glory so the Lord chose us basically as unlearned men I, I, I finished high school all right I never made it to college or university some brothers might have made it to college hey some brothers might have only made it to grade school hey might have had brothers who never went to school all right they might have learned to read via the internet hey they might have learned to read in the truth but they just believed faith coming by hearing and hearing by the words of the most high and they learned to read in the truth all right and guess what these are men out here head choppers out here you know you know bringing the scriptures to life the, the correct way through the spirit and all these learned men out here they can't do what these men doing because why because it's all through the spirit of the lord yahabah shem yahushai it's all through the spirit all right this is first corinthians chapter 2 verse 11 it says for what man knoweth the things of a man save the spirit of yahweh which is in him even so those things of yahweh know it no man but the spirit of Yahweh. It says, No, we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of Yahweh, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of Yahweh. Which things also we speak, not in the words of which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Spirit teacheth, comparing spiritual things with spiritual, weaving the word together, bringing one part of the scripture to match with another part, to make sense out of it, to break it down. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit which is of Yahweh, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. They are spiritually discerned. Weaving the words together is something spiritual, not something that anybody could just pick up. Like some people say that even a child could understand the Bible. Nah, it's not like that. It's way more complex than that. But he that is spiritual does it all things, and he himself is judge of no man. All right, well, that basically here, but guess what? It is it, it, by comparing spiritual to spiritual. All right, weaving this word together, bringing this word to life in context is something spiritual and nothing close to being carnal. All right, nothing close to being so to, to, as is not an um, a carnal feat to accomplish. All right. Yeah, you could understand any other history books. You could understand maths, geography, whatnot. But guess what? These words, these words that the scripture said, ever learning but never coming to the knowledge of the truth, having eyes but see not, guess what? Without the most high Yahba Hashem Yahusha, you would never understand these words. All right? You would never understand these words. And that is why people, they, 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 they so-called can't break down the scriptures in context. Because why they can't weave the words together? This is Ephesians chapter 1 verse 9. It says, Having made known unto us the mystery of his will. The Lord made known unto us his mystery of his will. He said what? He will make known his mysteries unto his servants, the prophets, according to his good pleasure which he had purpose in himself. Alright? So the Lord made known unto us the mystery of his will. Alright? It's verse 17. That the God of our Lord Yahweh Shem Mashiach, the God of the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. So that is how we understand this word. Because the Lord gave us the spirit of wisdom and revelation. So it's something spiritual. Weaving these words together, bringing this word into context, is what? It's something spiritual and nothing carnal. That is why the scripture said, See your calling, brethren, that not many wise men, if it was something Canada, then guess what? We would have been taught by these so-called scholars and not the other way around. 
the elites wouldn't be watching our videos to understand the times that we're in. All right? The Lord made known unto us the mysteries. The Lord gave us the ability to weave the word together, to bring the word into context. It wasn't given unto all. The scripture said mysteries are revealed unto the meek. All right? It wasn't given unto all to understand. the book of acts chapter 4 verse 13 it says now when they saw the boldness of peter and john a and everybody out here pushing this word talking about the men are pushing the the whole truth the doctrine that great millstone teach all right not only the men that in great millstone but also the men that teach the same doctrine whether they be called great millstone or not all right once they teach the same doctrine because it's about the doctrine it says, and perceive that they were unlearned and ignorant men. So when they do the background check on us and say, you know, this, this guy, he, he don't have no college degree, he don't have no bachelor's degree. He never went and did theology. He never, he, you know, he was, he's not a historian. He never traveled the world. How, how he know these things? How he know this in-depth history? All right? They marvel and they marvel at us. That is why they, they try to shut our pages down and, and you know, discredit us. All right? That is why the CIA had this um this this operation called um Black King Rise Black Messiah Black Black Messiah Rising I believe where groups that that you know of of Jake or Israelites that that coming together seeking for a savior they were trying to dismember that group and this is what they're trying to do but guess what the the scriptures say you can't do nothing against the truth but for the truth so they can't if this work was of the work of men then guess what they could have done they could have infiltrated all right and make us cast off the name of yaba shami al shai say mosai christ say ahai and yeshai and all these kind of stupidness all right but guess what because this is the mosai's house guess what they can't do nothing against it the gates of hell cannot prevail against it all right Um, they marveled and they took knowledge of them that they had been with Yahweh Shai. So we with Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai, Shai, he working through us. That is why we understand these words. That is why we could bring these words into context. All right? Means to weave together. That is why we could weave these words together. All right? That is why we could weave these words together. All right? Um, final precept here it's the second timothy chapter 2 verse 15 a self study to show thyself approved unto yahweh all right i think when you look at the word study in the greek it goes back to the word studium which means zeal all right a workman that needed not to be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth all right I want you to look up the word um, divide. It means to cut straight through, to cut straight ways, to proceed to, um, on the straight path, hold a straight course, all right, doing right. But there's the main point. It says to make straight and smooth, to handle a right, to teach the truth directly and correctly. And to teach the word directly and correctly, you have to be able to teach the word with context. You have to be able to weave the words together. Because if you don't put the words together, if you don't put precept upon precept together, you would never understand the mystery. All right? You would never understand the mystery of the Gentiles if you, don't be, if you ain't able to weave the history with the prophecy. And that is why plenty of people, as Paul, as um, Peter said, they, they, they're resting with the words of the Most High. All right? Because they don't understand. They don't have the ability to weave the word together. They, 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 don't, they can't bring the word into context. All right? And that is why the Lord raised us up to, to preach this word. Because the Lord only dealing with the elect. All right? Which we hope that we're part of the elect. All right? So basically, I just want you to go into the word context. That is what it means to, you know, to, to weave together. And, you know, basically, according to the scriptures, is only a small group going to be able to, to weave the word together and, and make sense out of, out of it to the world. And do it the right way. All right? To teach it directly and correctly. All right? To teach the word directly and correctly, you have to do it with context. 
But says, yeah, you have to have a spiritual eye. And the Lord have to bless you with, with spirit of wisdom and revelation. All right? So with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Merkah, Kodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles of great mercy who not rule well. Salutations to the men of the hopeland, Saint Selec. This is Makazah saying Shalom.